soda, baby. I'm just trying to chill, maybe. I'm just trying to get my life situated. I'm All just right, how's everybody doing? Um, today, we're gonna do a filet video for Peacock Bass. But before we do that, I gotta shave. Oh, wow. So anyway, we're gonna cook this Peacock Bass today uh, after we filet it. I'm gonna do a filet video. I might do a filet then cook or do a filet video and then maybe just do a cooking video later on a different video. Who knows? This is that beautiful fish. Oh shit, it's just leaking everywhere. I gotta wipe all that up now, but beautiful, beautiful peacock bass. We're gonna try to fillet this thing. Just pulled it out of the freezer. Got it a couple days ago. Um, yeah, we gonna fillet this thing, but let's clean it up first, you know? So this is a big fish. I don't know what to tell you. We're gonna try to fillet it as best as possible. Hopefully we get a lot, a lot of fillet meat off of this. I got this fillet knife, the one I use in most of my videos. Went to the Everglades. Saw it, really wanted it. Had to get it. Ooh. This fish is a lot uh, more durable than tilapia too. So I don't even know where I wanna start with this one. Oh wait, it has a big head, I forgot about that. Make sure your fillet knife is definitely sharp because this one again is a tougher fish. Make sure you get up into the head some. I probably, oh, I probably butchered it. Someone's gonna say something, but as long as I get the meat, I'll be happy. Oh, I'm just all over the, all over the screen right now. Oh, I definitely missed a lot. I'm gonna be so sad. My knife is also not sharp, so don't call me out. I just said make sure you have a sharp knife. And you know what else people are gonna say? It should be a lot easier because the fish was frozen. I didn't even tell you it was frozen, so how do you know that? I definitely just missed a lot. I'm butchering it. Someone call the police. It's also because of this camera angle. Kind of the tripod right in front of me, so it's kind of hard to get the angles I need. I need to get better set up on my camera. Listen, people, don't do this unless you're a trained professional, which I am not. You know, people who do this and they make it look easy, I give you props, but it's not really that easy, especially when it's cold. For me, I'd rather just do it fresh as soon as I catch it to me that's way easier now also a lot of people are going to be mad because I'm not going to use the whole entire fish like the head it's going to go in the trash for me I don't find a use for the head a lot of people will cook it and use it in stock and stuff like that I can't do all that I mean I can but I don't have the time for all that I do have the time for that, but I don't want to. Again, for people who buy fillets at the store and stuff, like spend $5 or actually how, actually it's a lot more for shiners and you need shiners to catch these because I haven't caught them with anything else. So if I'm telling you to go, I mean, at least go get you some shiners, but you're gonna spend 13 on a dozen at some places like me or you can be smart. Oh, shoot. You can be smart, catch your own fish, get enough meat for a couple like days, and you get what, one fish? I butchered that part, but who even cares, right? Some of you guys are gonna be like, I care. Well, I wanted the belly meat, so get out my face. Got this whole flight. Woo! <laughs> Can't wait to eat. And now that we got half of it done, I'm gonna try to do the rest without crying myself to sleep. That's the wrong way. Again, when you're cutting fish, it's a big fish, but I tend to try to get like, this is the gill right here. 
this is the gill i try to get like right behind it about like an inch maybe some people wouldn't say that but me i will make sure you get under the gill so you can cut right into the meat i i do that every time and i don't know why no knife control Oopsie. Don't get your flight tutorials from me. Put this right on through. That's a whole lot of fish. Honestly, I feel like I did better on this side than the last side. And then you got yourself another piece of meat. I want to say I got, you know, a decent amount of meat off of the fish. I want to say you can't see, I mean, you can kind of see my finger on the other side. So again, I feel like it was a decent fillet. Now what I just realized is this whole time I could have been filming with a little bit more uh, outward zoom, but I just realized this piece down here is actually the belly. It has a lot of like bones in it. I'm just going to cut it off. I'll probably cut it up and do something with it because that is a lot of meat. Everybody's probably like, oh my god, why are you cutting it with your fillet knife? Because I can. Oh, that's still a nice piece of meat. Alright, anyway, so we want to feel for these ribs. Kind of stop like right here. You know what? I should have did that. Make sure you do this part after you fillet it <laughs> fully. What you want to do? Just go towards the tail, make a little incision towards the end. Get your knife under the meat. Grab the tail, well the skin of the tail. And just slice that knife right on through. If your knife is sharp, this would go a lot easier, but again, mine's not the sharpest. There you go. Whole piece of bass. Peacock bass. So again, right at the end of the tail, get under some meat. Grab this, grab the skin of the tail and just slice your way on through. Y'all thought I forgot about the little smack last time too. Yeah, no, I never forgot. Oh, I lost a lot of meat. Stop being nasty. Anyway, see this? Oh, oh, there's bones. Oh, there's more. There's more bones. There you go. I just gotta rinse these. A piece of belly meat. With no bones. We filleted the peacock bass. I'm probably going to make a different video where I cook it up. If you guys want to see that, make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe. If you want to see more fish catching, fish catching. If you want to see me catching more fish. And if you already know, let's go catch some more fish.